السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ فرینڈس ویلکم بیک ٹو مائی چینل ان ویڈیو نمبر فور ہنڈریڈ تھرٹی نائن وائل ایکسپلیننگ انورٹر سرکٹ آئی ڈسکسڈ ان دیٹ وولٹیج بوسٹر سیکشن وچ کنورٹس دا ٹویلو وولٹ ان ٹو تھری ہنڈریڈ الیون وولٹ ڈی سی دیر آر ٹو ٹرانسفارمرس ان دیٹ انورٹر آئی ریسیوڈ اے کومنٹ فرام مائی ویور He asked me why there is not one transformer, why it is using two transformers. In that condition, the two windings are in parallel, while the output winding is in series. What is the reason? Let's see this example. This is also 2000 watt inverter. It is using four transformers, one, two, three, four. the same two in parallel two in parallel from the primary side and in secondary side two windings are in series secondary winding of this transformer secondary of this secondary of this transformer and secondary of this transformer we can say these are two channels why this configuration is used so this is a question from my viewer let's discuss first of all we will see an example in any inverter section which is 12 volt 24 volt 48 volt inverters either it is solar inverter or any dc powered inverter battery inverter we need a voltage booster section when we discuss the power from the output side and from the side the power will remain same we need 3 2000 watts in the output stage 311 volt 10 volt in the dc rail after that these 310 volt 11 volt are applied to this h bridge or full bridge mechanism and it will convert these voltage into this form 0 volt 0 level to 310 volt in positive side after that this mechanism will switch into the negative side so the 310 volt peak will go in upside and then it will in low side so if we calculate 310 volt multiply it 0.707 rms value it will become 220 volt okay we will consider here we need 2000 watt at this point that is the output power we will assume just only the power ratings either it is push pull topology we will see the input power output power is 2000 watt divided by 90% efficiency so it is 2222 watt here at the input when it is 2222 watt input that means from 12 volt divided by 12 185 ampere current here peak 185 pulses will move in the primary at full peak output so it is heavy amount of current we need a very huge size of transformer to handle with this watt rating and we need a strong switching mechanism igbts or power devices so it will increase the cost and it will also increase the switching losses why because 310 volt here so the stress on these switching devices will increase too much which will cause to increase excessive power dissipation here and it will also reduce the efficiency now let's compare with this one here we are using 185 ampere current if you check here configuration is same 2000 watt at this point 310 volt but this time the configuration is configured with two transformers this transformer and this transformer so when two sources are in series the voltage will divided 310 volt in the output so we can say 155 volt here 155 here the current will remain same if we have 2000 watt here divided by 
we can say 6.45 ampere current we need in this winding. The similar, the current will remain same and the voltage level will reduce to 155. So that means it will cause to reduce the stress on these MOSFETs. And also this transformer will use for 1000 watt so its core size will reduce. Similarly the output power here for this transformer now it is reduced to 1000 watt 1000 from here 1000 from here current will remain same voltage are divided so that time the input primary current for each section will also reduce. So now the maximum current 1000 watt output from this transformer divided by 0 0.9 1111 watt in the input side so we need from this switching mechanism divided by 12 92 amperes so the primary will also reduce the input primary current will reduce now with compared to this winding when the primary size will reduce the copper size core size switching mechanism prices will also decrease because in designing the price is also kept in mind at top priority to meet the price in the market when the input side components are dealing with low current the price will reduce automatically let's come to this design now this technique is using four transformers it is using this set and this set primary in parallel here but the secondary winding of these two channels are in series these two channels are series after rectification both channels will become in parallel now 1000 watt here 1000 watt here as we divide it the voltage here the voltage will divide it here but now these transformers will deal with 1000 watt in this section in this design these two transformers were dealing with 2000 watt now the transformer size is reduced automatically because now it will generate 500 watt it will generate 500 watt so the current amount will decrease automatically here we were taking 6.43 ampere now the secondary side current will reduce so when the current will reduce transformer copper ferret size automatically reduces rectifier size will automatic, automatically reduces when it is reduced input current will reduce automatically as we discussed in this design it was using 92 ampere current peak current in the primary but now this design it will use 46 ampere let's see it for example for this transformer it is now dealing with 1000 watt 500 watt will here 500 from here so we will consider one transformer divided by 0.9 the same efficiency 555 watt input primary current divided with 12 volt so it will use 46 ampere peak primary current at full output power now these switching devices will reduce their prices the core size is reduced so it will reduce the cost of this design Positive voltage are applied here in the red wires which are applied to these fuses, four fuses, one fuse for each transformer. The positive voltage here applied to center taped winding which I show here, this transformer and this transformer and each transformer have two MOSFETs for push-pull operation 
drain of this MOSFET is running this winding, drain of this transfer, drain of this MOSFET is running this winding. Sources are connected to the ground potential, which is connected to these black wires. So these transistors will switch in push-pull condition. One will on, the second will off. Like here. One will on, the second will off. And these will switch the ground potential to the winding. So it is a bipolar magnet. So the input current will reduce automatically. When it is running at high frequency, at that time the peak primary current will automatically decrease. This MOSFET, this MOSFET, this MOSFET and this MOSFET. Four MOSFETs will switch at the same time. And second time, this side, this side, this side, this side, these will switch together. Because the microcontroller is giving two signals from here, one and two, which are connected to the MOSFETs in opposite direction. If this one is on, this will off. This is on, this is off, on, off, on, off. In the next half cycle, on, off, on, off, on, off, on and off. This is the primary side. So all transformers, four primaries, one side, this transformer, this side, this side, this and this. Four windings will switch in parallel. If we look at secondary side, this is the output side. It is connected to this point here and this end is connected to this rectifier while here this end is connected to here, this point and this is connected with this one. So we can say one common anode and one common cathode rectifier set. Short key rectifiers are used here. Common cathode will connect to the positive terminal. Common anode will connect to the negative terminal. The similar two rectifiers are here. And we have four capacitors in parallel. This is the capacitor bank. Similarly, the capacitor bank is also used to reduce the price. If it will use a one capacitor large size, it will increase the design size and it will increase the capacitor cost. So we can say this channel, these two transformers will switch and it, their output will reach here and these will apply to DC voltage section and this section it is connected here the output is connected to the same DC rail after that these DC voltage are applied to this H bridge configuration and it will switch to provide us this voltage so the voltage booster section that is the main cost effective section that will reduce the design size as a conclusion we can say the booster section, the voltage booster section, which boosts the voltage from 12 volt to 310 volt. It is the main section in any inverter. The design, the configuration of this section will be considerable for the price, for the power losses, for the switching, everything. So the answer for this comment that why it is using two transformers or four transformers it is using to reduce the price it is used to reduce the price of these components for the transformer design and the power losses switching losses everything i hope so this video is informative if it is informative hit the like button if you have any question let me know in the comment box thanks for watching السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته